Hi. So, as some of you might know, people who do follow me or watch me, whichever one you want to call it, know that I'm building the Titanic. Um, and in order to make it sail, I want to put one or two steam engines inside it. So, <clears throat> because I've never actually made anything on the lathe that's not been taken out and then chucked across the garage with a load of swear words after it, um, I've decided to buy the cheaper, um, I'm going to say steam engine, but I think because it's all made out of brass, I think it's made to be run on air rather than anything hot but <clears throat> I will be trying it on steam to see if it will run eventually so what I've bought is the uh, os os oscillate oscillator set of castings now the only reason I'm opening this now is because I actually can't wait to just have a look at it um, even though I have only just got home at half past ten at night after being in work from half past seven this morning so but anyway so here we've got the instructions <clears throat> for it um, now it gives us some sort of uh, information here well, diagram of how it goes together and numbers of different things. I am disappointed in the fact that I'm not going to be able to um, actually drill and tap into the bore, in, into the, not the bore, sorry, into the cylinder for holding the caps on. It's actually just bolts all the way through, but it is what it is. It's whatever. It's just a, I think to see if I can make it on the lathe and the milling machine, which I should be able to, but anyway, crack on. The only thing I'm going to struggle with is the fact that everything is in inch, inches. Is it metric? metric yeah, I think it's metric. Um which I use millimetres and centimetres, but anyway, crack on. We want to go to bed. <coughs> so put that there. So in the box, I think it was supposed to be vacuum packed to something, but it's clearly not. Anyway, so we're going to pull it all out. We're going to have a look. We're going to put it all back. And then I'm going to go to bed. So this is a darker colour bit of um, brass. Now, I'm guessing that's going to be what they call in gun metal. Because it's quite heavy, that. it's a lot heavier than normal brass. So I'm guessing that's going to be a better quality. Now there is a parts list on the back of here. And I'm not going to bore you in why I check it all, but anyway. So, got one piece of gun metal possibly brass yeah. a bigger chunk of brass which I'm guessing they're going to be end caps end cap top cap not really sure for said cylinder no that's not the cylinder is it oh here we go why do I never get anything right yeah it's a cylinder isn't it tired stand which is a lot smaller than I thought oh yeah that is quite small so that is on that six centimeters so what's that five and a half inch thereabouts no two and a half inch Sorry. uh Nice bit of uh, round steel. Now, I was looking at the diagram and I, I actually can't see anything that actually, 
actual size. So that's quite a big. I'm not really sure how big. Uh, this doesn't do inches, I don't think. I'm not sure, but um, 16 mil bar. So I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm um, crack on. I'm guessing this here. Yeah, that's the aluminium to go around this and tap it in there all the way around. Apparently they used to put asbestos behind there to keep the engine warm, which is not why they'd use asbestos. Um, so we've got let's have a look what we can think what I can what I can call them here. So that's gonna be the main rod and crankshaft. Well the main shaft. It's not gonna be a crankshaft if it's not bent, I don't think. Um and we're gonna have the bit that the thing pivots on. Piston. I'm guessing that's going to be a piston rod, which is not very big at all. More room for error there, is it? <laughs> there actually isn't any room for error in, if any of them was that. Fantastic. It's not great. No. Anyway, so I've got that, that, then <clears throat> a bit more round stock. Uh, that's going to be piston. That's going to be piston. I'm guessing that's going to be a bearing. That little piece there. Oops, that's badly cut as well. And then this little square bit is going to be on the bottom end of the piston rod, which is really tiny. It's really small, and when you suffer with sausage finger syndrome like I do, no. <laughs> anyway, it's all part of the experience. <clears throat> And then obviously got some bits of nuts, bolts, screws, a spring. Um and that's about it. So with this I am actually going to be doing probably not a lot of talking and more using machines why I make this. Um, <clears throat> now I don't have a video ed editor, so I'll just be like telling you, putting it in, doing what I'm doing, do it, then come back and tell you about it. So if anyone's interested, I'll, I'm an absolute novice on everything. Does it? <clears throat> um, stay tuned. So that was a little bit of a box opening for it. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me before I can get into it because I'm going to have to finish turning my conservatory into a new workshop because the garage is freezing at the minute. So <sighs> I'll post when I can or when I start, should I say. If you watch, you watch. Thanks for watching. See ya.